Hey guys, it's Jericho Ashley here, and I'm here with just a quick little video. Um, I wanted to film a video today, and I was gonna do my Vera Bradley collection, um, but I'm, I'm, oh, oh, sorry, I decided that I think I'm going to do a Vera Bradley, the Vera Tote review, just because I really don't see a lot of videos of that. Um, so if you're here for the books, I'm sorry, I will be doing a book video of my hashtag Friday Reads. Um, coming up on Friday. So if you're here for that, if you're not there, then I will see you later. If you're here to see um, Vera Bags, then stay tuned. I want to give a review of the Vera Tote. I have two of them. I've used them for quite a while so I can give you my thoughts, how I like them, how I don't like them, and the quality, how I feel about them, the price, all that stuff. Um, this one is the one I'm currently using now. It's the Vera in Flower Shower. I really do like it. It's got this gray, they call it a mushroom colored background, and a lot of beautiful flowers. I have this for when I go to Florida. I bought it because I thought it'd be really cool. It's got quilted handles. It has the toggle clasp, and then it has a front pocket. I'll go into detail on the other bag inside this is what mine looks like right now because i'm using it um but that's that one the first one i ever bought was this one in tutti frutti i think it's really cute um this one's empty so i can go through and show you everything you get a front pocket and the front pocket goes all the way down into the bag it comes with a key lanyard i always put my my id in there for my bus it has the toggle clasp like i said and I find with this one that it does kind of come out a little bit. I think because this strap, this little thing, is thinner than on the flower shower. But other than that, it has quilted handles. It has six compartments. If you can see. It has six compartments. It has two linings. It has this lining. And then inside it has, if I can show it to you guys... It has the flower lining. Um, it has a cardboard base. You can take that out to wash these bags. Um, and you can flip this actually inside out so I can show you all the pockets. Which I'll probably try to do to show you. Um, this was one of the first bags I ever purchased from Vera. Um, I did have the pleated tote the first time. And that was a gift for Christmas. But I bought these totes with my own money. Um... And then the back, sorry, has a zipper pocket with the Vera tag and it goes all the way straight down. These totes retail for, I believe, $88. I did not pay that much. I got mine off of eBay from the Vera Bradley seller. Um, this one was $30 and I believe, no, sorry, this was on sale. This one was $20 and this one was $30. Now, I really do like these bags. Um, right now, I've used this one quite a lot, and I've switched over into the flower shower because I really do like the flower shower. I like how they're just squishy and foldable, and I did have the Vera Tote in the microfiber. I did not like that. It was very stiff. It was hard to fold, especially because I'm going to Florida, and I'm using this, at, well, I'm using this one as my um, plane bag. It has to be able to fold and go underneath somebody's seat. So I think this would be perfect to just throw under there. Um, but the one thing that I don't like about it is it doesn't have a zipper. Now, I knew that it didn't have a zipper when I ordered it. I didn't think it would be such of a big deal. Um, it kind of is a little bit because especially if one, if you're tra traveling, you know, you, if you have to put your bag like sideways like this, I'm afraid something's going to fall out, but I'm not sure if it is. Um, so that's what kind of makes me a little bit worried. And then plus I take the bus and I always put my bag down. And even if you do close it, it is kind of open here. Like you can reach in and grab your stuff. Obviously, I don't think anyone's going to take anything from me. But the biggest thing I have is if it rains and I'm walking, rain will go right in here and get all my stuff wet. So that's one thing just to consider if you're thinking about getting these bags. Um, I don't regret getting them. I love them. Um, I'm going to use them for different things. I've used the flower shower for food shopping because I ran out of bags and I just put some soda in there. Um, 
but they're really good quality totes. I love them. My mom calls them my beach bags. I call them my purses. Um, I do have behind me the Villager. The Villager is a lot smaller than this. It's like half this. If you were to take this stuff, this side out, that's how kind of small it is. Um, like I said, I love how these are soft. Um, the oh, I don't think I've had any stitchings come out or being pulled in the bag. No, it seems to be doing pretty well, actually. But that's my review on the Vera Tote. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I think I went over everything. There's six pockets. They go all the way down to the side of the bag. So it's not like the half pockets. They go all the way down. Six quilted pockets on the side, I should say. So toggle clasp. Um, all together, I think there's six, seven. There's eight pockets. And that is Tutti Fruity. And flower shower let me know which one is your guys's favorite i am loving the flower shower i don't know why i just think it's so cute and i really do like it well that's my review guys like i said if you have any questions let me know down below and definitely pick up a vera tote on ebay you will not regret it bye guys